Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Fest. Alright, this is my third time recording this. I have no idea why my uh, recording software is being a div. But, regardless, that's technical stuff we don't need to talk about. In the last episode, though, well, we visited Tartarus for the first time. And uh, we pretty much, uh, we're pretty much done with the place. Uh, we just got a slight tutorial and uh, we're all set to go. So it, uh, I guess the... Uh, the dark hour will soon be over, so the next day will uh, happen as soon as you leave. So, let's -a go. It says that we decided to stop exploring, but there, we weren't allowed to explore it anymore anyway. So, that's just how that works. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff's going on. Oh, who's this? Hey, you're Sosuke, right? Yeah? Why? Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you're pretty close with Yukari-san. What's up with that? Uh, I don't know. I like. I don't know where this rumor is coming from. I mean, she just showed me around the school on my first day. I live in the same dorm as she does. Well, not on the same floor, but you know what I mean. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. By the way, I'm Kenji... Uh... Tomokicha. I don't know what that means. Uh, there's a morning assembly, so we better hurry. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Kenji, I guess. I don't know what he meant by, uh... That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class oh. 3D. Well then. Whoever knew that she was, uh, I guess she was part of student council. I think Yukari mentioned that before. But uh, I didn't know she was going to be president. So, she did get elected. Hmm. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. I don't know. Everybody seems to be uh, talking about you lately. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, the school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Ah, right. So, her entire family owns this school. Yeah, I try not to think about that. Yeah, because everybody's like totally... <laughs> totally, she's totally abusing her power, I guess? I guess you could see it that way. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. So, pretty much in, e in essence, she's like, I'm not going to do anything. I just want you guys to do something to make life better. Spoken like a true politician. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Yep. Super politician-y. It's like politicianese. I swear to god they have their own language. Dang, that was freaking amazing. I don't know about that. So, do you have any idea what you just said? <laughs> oh, Junpei. Uh, I wasn't listening. Not a clue. Eh, sort of. No, I get it. I understand what she's talking about. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. Oh, of course not. But at the same time, she's pretty much just wants everybody to do their best and to not slack off and, you know, represent the school and all types of things like uh, school activities, after school shit, all that type of stuff. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. I don't know about that. Alright, the afternoon. 
Alright, today we'll be going over the Meiji era li literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel in the last class. Got a great poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen. Isolated cloud suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. Oh, wait. Feel to awe. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna read more, but you gotta snap. You gotta snap your fingers. <laughs> but apparently, apparently Sosuke's about to fall asleep. Close your eyes for a few minutes. As much as uh, dozing off with poetry, like, I, I, I hate it. I've always hated poetry, and it sucks because I, I, my main teachable is English, and I have to teach it, but holy crap, I could just, I could just throw it right out the window, because I don't, I don't see it as, I see it as a form of art, and I can, I can say that it's a form of art and it's a good way of expressing oneself, but at the same time, if you can express it by using such weird, profound things like metaphors and similes and all that, then why don't you just tell me? Like, sometimes it's cool to compare something to the sun, and I mean, we use poetry all the time in our lives, that's the whole thing. It's like, remember that time when I, when I did this? It was like this, or I felt like that, you know? I was outside the other day and it felt like the sun was like right in front of me. But it wasn't actually physically right in front of you, it's just it was as hot as the sun, you know? That, that's, oh god, I freaking hate poetry. Let's move on, but we have to stay awake for our academic knowledge. All right, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart into reading this poem. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. Wow! Little bit bitchy there, Miss Toriyumi. Expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. <laughs> and don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. Wait, 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 what? What? That wasn't even a lesson! I stayed awake for her to like, carp on Kenji to buy her cake? And not only that, is he bought her cake too! <laughs> I wish I could abuse students like this, that would be fantastic! It's just like, I, I, something makes me mad, I'm just like, hey you, you're not paying attention to me, buy me cake! And then they would just do it. It's abusing power! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why my, my voice cracked right there. Alright, class has ended for today. As of today, you'll be able to use your time after school as you wish. If you want to establish social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go, go to in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around in town as well as in the school. Hmm. Well then, well, that sounds pretty cool. But, uh, what's it? Oh, there's Junpei. How are you, Junpei? Dude, Mitsuru Senpai's speech this morning was crazy. I heard no one was even close to her in the election. Considering her background, I don't know why they bothered. Let's face it, we're just a plain ordinary compared to her, man. Ah, but the cool thing is, is we're not just plain and ordinary, Junpei. I mean, we also have personas, something that she has. So that's pretty big. Hey, I think this guy whose name was Kaz? Yeah. Dude, another gorgeous day. I should go out for a job before practice. Alrighty. Do do. But it doesn't look like uh, there's anything really important here. So let's let's investigate the school. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, let's see. So what do we got here? So we've got the PA room, uh, student council room. This is our classroom, I believe. Hey, what are you what are you saying? Uh, when you when you were absent, there was an election for student council president. Mitsuru Senpai's speech was so cool. I voted for her. Everyone else looks so small compared to Mitsuru Senpai. Ah, Mitsuru Senpai. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Things get weird. What are you guys talking about? Says she's going to quit being a high schooler. Well, it's her life, not mine. What this girl? School's barely started, and there's already been a student who quit. She only had two years left. What does she do if she doesn't even graduate from high school? Hmm. I wonder if that person is important. Ah, I don't think so. 
Uh, but do I feel... what do I feel like doing? There's, there's tons of stuff I can do now. So, investigating the school is one thing. You got the men's bathroom, uh, the girls' bathroom, which is interesting if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not in this game. But, um, I think in one of these, you couldn't actually bring, uh, the camera into them one time. The women's restroom, alright. Uh, first floor hallway. But I need to talk to you. Hey, how are you? Came here because I'm not feeling too good. I just wanted some cough drops, but he gave me this weird looking medicine. I wasn't in the mood to gather my courage, so I declined. And he busted out another weird medicine that I'd never seen before. Hmm. Okie dokie then. So that's the nurse's office, and I believe, that, yeah, this is the faculty uh, office, so we can go and talk to the teachers there. But I'm just trying to think what I should be doing first. I did not plan this day out properly. I probably should have been paying attention to my mind. Uh, but, do to do, what do we have here? It's a music room? Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, the laboratory. Well, what are you doing out here? There's a lot of classrooms here, but you, you, but you knew that. Oh, okay. This is the janitor's closet, because janitor closet is awesome. Uh, and then we got, see this is something that I, I'd actually like people to explain to me, is this like a water fountain? Or is this like a place for kids to like clean their faces and stuff? Because it seems like it's a, like a water spout. Uh, what do you want? I'm using my cell now. Talk to me later, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, jeez. It's over this way. Oh, cool. Sort of this outside area. That tree seems special for some reason. I wonder why it's there. Does it commemorate something? Mm, maybe. I mean, this tree? Small tree is growing here. You wonder what kind of tree it is. I guess it's a fairly important tree. Like, if anything, it really looks like it's important because it's like out in the middle of nowhere. Do do do. Yeah, here, what's this? The kendo team seems to be using the gym. Would you like to observe? Hmm, I could observe. Uh, let's not observe them. Uh, how about here? This is the. This leads out to where the track team is practicing. Would you like to observe? Hmm. You know what? Uh, this is a social link uh, later on, and I know it's kind of spoiling it a little bit. But which would you prefer me to go after? Would you like me to go and join the? Uh, the track team, or would you like me to join the kendo team? Because I could do both. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I could observe both before I have to join one of them. Um, so I'm just sort of in the midst of, should I do this or should I do that? And you know what? I think I'm actually going to leave it up to my subscribers because uh, I'm cool like that. Indoor swimming pool. The swim team seems to be using the pool. Would you like to observe? I guess I could join the swimming team too. But uh, well, that is totally up to you guys. So let me know in the comment section below. La da ta 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 ta. You know. I guess now that I've said that, I should probably say, hey, please hit that like button too, because all those likes they make me happy. They make me like you more. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no, I'm being terrible, and I'm stalling. So I should probably actually go do something. Sucks to be that sexy, brooding, popular guy. Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. <laughs> I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? Well, sometimes those, those very pretty, sort of brooding, and I mean, his posture is also, you know... It's pretty confident from what I it mean, seems. Come on, you don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Wait for us. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Well, I wasn't really planning on doing anything. Hell yeah! What you got in mind? I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Why the police station of all places? Okay. The police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Uh, I, I guess we won't. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> but then he, if he was more friendly, do you think he would be as attractive? I, I'm not saying that, uh, I think especially in high school anyway, is the popular kids that not, not necessarily treated chicks like garbage or anything like that, because that is a turn off, and regardless, like some girls may like that or not, but most of the time, that sort of nonchalant, sort of, eh, it could be this, it could be that, whatever, just, I, I can hang out with you and I don't mind you, seems to be the most attractive thing. And once you start being like super friendly and stuff and be like, oh, I care about you guys and oh, I just want to make you guys happy. It's it's like a super turn off sometimes. But that's what makes him so cool. Yeah, see there, exactly. <laughs> Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Yeah, but at the same time, all they do is follow him around. Ah, oh, well, let's go. He asked you to meet him at the um, uh, the Apolloweenian uh, Mall. I can't even say that word. You decide to head over there. Let's go, Junpei. Let's go. La la la. Is, he, is Junpei with me? I guess so. Hey, what's up? Dude, is Haki Yoso a blind or just plain dumb? Those chicks were all over him. Man, I'm jealous. Oh, Junpei. He's definitely not going to be my favorite in this Let's Play. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. So we have to go to, to, to Paolo, 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 Nia. Polonia. Polonia? Eh? Polonia? That's, eh? Yeah, we're going to go there. Alright, and he said the police station, right? So, right over here. Seems to be the police station. Yeah. Enter. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. I was waiting for you guys. Oh, mm, geez, he seems like a happy fellow. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and really? This is from Ikutsuki san. Really? Sweet! You and Jupe each receive. Wow! That was really nice you of him. can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections, but these things still cost money. <laughs> okay, so let's just break this down for a sec. We go to the cop to buy illegal weapons. <laughs> this is shifty, don't you think? Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Hmm. Um, I'm selling you legal weapons, however, you know, I know something's weird, so it doesn't feel like I'm breaking the law. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good way to justify it, Mr. Kurosawa. Alright, uh, you should be able to find what you need. Alrighty, so, since we got Munzes, this is definitely an upgrade uh, to my uh, two-handed sword that I have. Uh, one-handed, so actually, I can't remember if I'm, I'm a one-handed user, and I think Junpei is two-handed, so that's for Junpei. Uh, do to do and then, I don't, I actually think that I can use any of them if I want to, now that I think about it. Um, so I think I'm actually going to buy one of each, actually. I know it's a lot of money, but the short bow may come in handy later. See, it's like light and easy to use, plus unknown effect. The unknown effect is pretty much 
just the fact that it uses piercing damage, but we'll get into that a little bit later when we head back to Tartarus tonight. So I will buy this. Uh, do do do. Would you like to equip this weapon before? Uh, is it? Uh, no, I do not. I will equip it later. Uh, Gladys. I'll just, you know what? I'm just gonna buy all of them. Actually, I, I can't buy all of them now that I think about it. I just realized. Uh, do do do. Yes, I will equip this one because it's better than my rapier. I probably should have bought some armor. However, I'm not really sad about that just yet. I mean, that extra defense would be nice. Uh, however, it's not essential just yet. So, with that, I think we're done. Shall we fire on I'm gonna take off. I'm in a bad mood now. Later. See, this is the whole thing. Like, if Junpei's not gonna spend his money, can I have it? 10,000 would have been really nice. But since we think, I think we have some time now, I can't actually remember if we actually do this right now. Uh, you can spend time in shops such as these. Depending upon where you go, you may be able to raise your charm, courage, or academics. If these stats are high enough, they may even be able to make new acquaintances. Oops. Karaoke solo, 800. Don't be shy, belt it out! Will you stay here until you until it gets dark? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's just belt it out. So we sang Har Har Yukai for a couple of hours. You sang for hours and hours. Your courage has increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. I'm gonna try at least. Uh, at least to max out my uh, charisma, uh, courage, and academics, so I can uh, at least uh, sort of suspend my modes of disbelief here uh, and show you guys what I want to do with this Let's Play. But uh, I do not know if this is going to be max social link. I really, I really just want to play the game. I think that's the whole reason of a Let's Play. If you want a max social link run, you just uh, you can watch other people. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can watch a walkthrough, because that will definitely show you how to do it. Uh, but nevertheless, enough with that. So I think this will be it for today. And I will see you guys next time, where I uh, I think we're actually going to, uh, well, of course, sp speak to Mitsuru. And then afterwards, we're going to go to Tartarus and face off against, uh, I think, our first boss. So take care, guys. Stay frosty. And please, don't shoot yourself in the head.